Hi you all and welcome to my channel Overcoming Gluttony. My name is Alicia and I used to weigh 327 pounds. I currently weigh 250 pounds and I've successfully kept my weight off since July of 2020. And on my channel I vlog daily plus every week I show you what I've meal prepped and all of the food that I have in my refrigerator. And we also grow microgreens together. So today, let's chit chat about being true to self. I know I've talked about this before, but I wanted to do a check-in. I wanted to see, are we really being true to who we are as we endeavor on this weight loss journey? Are you doing things and am I doing things that suit my personality? Or am I trying to fit myself in some type of a fad or mode or some experience or program that has captivated me temporarily but isn't really who I really am? I know that I'm really not a person who enjoys drinking a lot of water. Don't get me wrong. I do like water, but I don't, I'm not a water hound. So I find myself struggling with drinking water. So I feel like I may not be true to who I am with trying to drink this gallon of water plain and simple. Maybe I need to spice it up a bit with other things in it like some cloves or some lemons or some um, oranges, maybe even some cucumbers. I know at times you guys have seen me drinking water that's been infused with other things, but I'm not putting that as a priority and I should. And now that I'm being truer to myself with acknowledging the fact that, hey, I keep failing with drinking this gallon of water thing, maybe I need to be true to myself and spice it up. Well, now that I've acknowledged that I'm not being true to myself, hopefully as I move forward, in being true to myself, I will be more successful. So rather than just making the assumption that you're doing what's best for you and what is aligned with your values, really stop, take the time and look and see. Are you really being true to yourself on this weight loss journey? And because life has a way of pulling us in different directions, we need to evaluate this, whether or not we're being true to ourselves, per periodically. Since, you know, we can tend to stray or move or bend away from the things that are best for us. So I would like to report to you that I have been successful with my 2023 goals. I did drink 60 ounces of water and have four servings of raw vegetables for breakfast. And I did walk for an hour before going to work. And I'm successfully completing my goals at 96% of the time. And I'm going to be true to myself right now and acknowledge the fact that I'm thirsty and get some water before I read you guys this poem. One second. <laughs> Thank you. And that wasn't planned. <laughs> I was like, well, hey, I'm talking about being true to myself and I'm parched, man. I'm thirsty. Let me get me some water before I read this poem. All right. So this is a poem that I wrote. It's titled 
she put it all in. She put it all in. She put her all in. She gave it her best, yet she still felt insecure. Because she compared herself to others rather than looking to the word that's pure. She looked at what sister so-and-so could do and how that other sister is so tall. She didn't know her own insecurities were a device to assist her in a fall. But her savior came to her rescue and in him she felt more complete. Rather than comparing herself to others, she placed her qualities and abilities at his feet and trusted him to nurse her through the adventurous road ahead. No more comparing herself to others, only focusing on what he said. Focusing on how he promised to always be there and supply her every need. She recalls each way he sheltered her and comforted her from wickedness's stampede. No need to compare or brag about the gifts and tender mercies God has given her along the way. She simply obeys and submits to his will, no matter what others say. Focusing on herself and the things he desires her to do. No longer a participant in the comparison game, but a vessel that's faithful and true. So... Thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate you all spending time with me. I'm going to be recording Way in Wednesday next. That will be the next time that you all see me. And then as far as my daily, my next daily vlog, we will be talking about forming new relationships. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to talk. Ooh, damn, my hair just decided to pop out. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to... Um, talking about forming new relationships. This isn't going to be um, talking about forming new relationships with people, but rather new relationships with like food and exercise and our scale. Yeah, the real fun stuff that you wanna talk about. Yeah, so we'll be talking about forming new relationships on the next vlog. And you all feel free to um, join me tomorrow for Way In Wednesday. Uh, that vlog will be a different format than my usual ones. We will be talking about the non-scale victories that I've had for this past week, the lies I've told myself this past week pertaining to health, the junk food I've eaten during the week, and then also my new weight. And um, yeah, I've been endeavoring to complete a no junk food challenge since the beginning of May and you will be able to see how successful I have been at meeting this challenge. So I hope to see you all tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Bye.